Hi guys, welcome back to the Ethics Fashion House channel. Today I finally got the video that I've been promising you for a very long time. Um, as you might have noticed, I've done quite a few Rogue videos lately. This time I'm finally doing my whole Rogue collection. So I counted and it is 22 Coach Rogues, which is a lot. <laughs> So I'm just going to go through them all and I'll just show them to you very briefly because as you know I've already done individual videos of quite a few of them, you can find those on my channel. Uh, there will be some that I haven't done of course uh, and if you see one that you'd really like to see more of or see the details of, see up close, please do let me know. I will be making more. I'll also be doing a video that just shows the four different sizes together uh, side by side or, or five different ones as we count the shoulder bags. Uh, just showing all the different sizes together and what the differences are between the specific models. So the 25 to the 31, the pockets inside, uh, and all that stuff. Can't wait to show you all of these bags. I've been so excited to do this video. This is probably the biggest video I've ever done. It might also be a little bit long. Uh, but I have got uh, a 17, I've got 25s, I've got 31s, I've got 36s, I've got shoulder bags. And I've got a few limited edition ones and even a Disney X coach one. So I really hope that you'll enjoy this video. And also if you have any questions regarding the Rogues coach in general, feel free to ask them in the comments. I'll do my very best to answer all of them. And uh, let me know in the comments which one of these is your favorite. I think that'll be it guys. So I hope you'll like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, let me show you all these Rogues. Okay, so we're going to start with the biggest ones and move our way down to the smaller ones. So this is one of my Rogue 36 in this beautiful tan color. And I think my favorite thing about this one is the color. It's just the classic saddlebag color. And uh, I did a video of this one where you can see everything, all the details up close. So if you want to have a closer look, go find that on my channel. Then the next one we have is another Rogue 36. This one is black with tan suede lining and it's got tan contrast stitching as well. And what makes this one special is that it has the whip stitch handle, and which is in a super pretty blue, dark blue leather. I think that's quite a nice detail. And what I really like is that when they do this, they also do the back of the hang tag in the same color as the whip stitching, which is quite nice, I think. And again, the Rogue 36 is a very spacious bag and uh, like you could definitely use this as a weekend bag. Super pretty. So those are my two Rogue 36. Now let's go on to the Rogue 31s. Okay, so we'll start with this one. This is the Rogue 31 in Melon. It's got the uh, color block with this dark, almost, is that like a purple or burgundy? I'm not quite sure on this uh, center part plus the handles and the Rogue 31 is a really nice size. This is like the standard Rogue size. Um, it's quite a large bag. This color is quite pretty and actually I've got three of these. So there's one, there's two, and there's three. Since all three of these are exactly the same I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna go through the other two there. So I'll add them all to the back shelf. And now just to continue kind of in the same color scheme, I think, I believe this is just called a dusty rose. This is also a Rogue 31. I think this is quite a pretty color, especially if you like that dusty color. Um, it's very, it's almost like a nude color, but it still has a little bit more of a, I'd say purplish tint to it. Uh, it's quite subtle, it's quite subtle, but still a very striking bag and it's just super pretty. And this is again a 31. And what makes this one special is that on the side here it's actually suede rather than just leather. That's the normal ones. And the uh, lining of this one is like a deep purple, maybe like an like an eggplant color, I'm not quite sure. Or actually it almost looks brown. I guess it just depends on uh, the eye looking at it. But it's quite a pretty color combination if you ask me. That's that one. This one unfortunately is missing the coach hang tag, but it does have the little, I can't remember quite sure, it's called a clochette. I'm not quite sure, but it has this at least. And then we've got this, which again, is kind of in the same category. This is like a nude color, I'd say. And um, it's also very, uh, very subtle, but 
super pretty and the lining is almost the same color as out of this except maybe a little bit more red-ish I would call that like a burgundy suede which is quite pretty and this one unfortunately or this one so this one has the hang tag but it's unfortunately missing the, the other uh, clutchette thing but other than that this one is great just need to put some stuffing in it I just got this recently um, I bought it secondhand and whoever I bought it from was storing it in his dust bag but completely folded together with no stuffing inside of it so it kind of lost its shape a little bit but I think I can fix it so I'm gonna put some stuffing inside of it and uh, it should be as good as new I hope <laughs> but again a super pretty just nude color that goes with everything and isn't too um, isn't too loud so that's that one now I've got something a little bit more special you've probably seen this one before so this is the I guess it's also the color is also called dusty rose uh, but this is with the ombre colors here in this uh, chevron design. So it's quilted leather, which is what I really like about this bag because it gives it way more structure so it doesn't slouch. Of course, I actually like the slouching of the rogues, but if you don't, then this one would be a super good... Um, this one would be a super good option for you because of the quilted leather, it doesn't slouch ne nearly as much. And one thing I really like about this is that here on the chevrons, it's got tiny little uh, softly rounded studs. If you can, let me show you that up close. I think that's a super cool detail. It's just, yeah, this bag is really well made and just has so many nice details and I I'm quite like it. And actually, this is another one where I've got two. So if you would like to buy one, I have at least one for sale. Uh, yes, yeah, so these are these are also color vlogs. So they've got the dark. I would say this is like a dark purple or maybe even a brown uh, on this part here, and that matches the darkest part down here, which I think is a quite nice detail. So that is the two of those. All right, and then for something else that's a little bit special, I have this. So a lot of you have probably seen this one before. This is the suede version. So basically on the classic rogues, you've got leather on the outside, leather on the sides, leather here, and then you've got suede in the inner pockets in here. So this one is the exact opposite. Uh, so it's got suede on the outside, suede on the sides. Actually, this one is still leather. And then it has leather inside the large pockets here. And this is this beautiful gray color. They call it Heather and the hardware is, I believe, black copper and it's just super gorgeous and feels so luxurious like the suede is really soft plus I, I do like that it's just something a little bit different i really like that the color is such a warm gray and this is actually another example of a bag that i have two of <laughs> so again this is the rogue 31 in a limited edition suede version uh so actually what is interesting is these two are from the same collection and they are identical but one thing I noticed well first of all this one is uh, missing its hang tag or it, I don't know, it actually does have the hang tag first of all this one it doesn't have the hang tag on it because it's missing the chain but it is inside the bag but these little things are actually different on the two so on this one this is gray leather just normal smooth leather on this one it is actually suede uh, which I think is quite interesting. So I don't know why those two are different. I am 100% sure they're both original to the bags and both bags are genuine, but there is a slight difference. And actually when you look at them, I do think the color looks slightly different on both of them. I would say this one looks a bit darker than this one, but this one is also used and this is brand new. So it might just be the wear of the suede because obviously just like normal leather, suede even more so changes as you use it, but I actually think that's quite a, a nice feature. Um, and it it makes the bag truly yours. Everyone will have a different looking bag depending on how you use it and how much you've used it and how you store it and everything. And um, I often think that when suede wears, it doesn't it doesn't necessarily make it look worse. Same thing with leather. I think the more wear it has, it just gives the bag character and um, it's just a different look. It just depends on what you like. So those are the gray suedes. Now, I only have one more 31 to show you, and this one is actually one of my favorite ones. It's a very special one. Uh, 
Okay, so my very last Rogue 31, which is probably the most special one, is this one. And now, I am in love with this bag. This is not only the most special one, it's also the most expensive one. Uh, and it's expensive because it's got genuine snake skin. So it has genuine snake skin on the handles, and here on this little clutchette thing, and on the hang tag. Now this is brand new, so I haven't taken the padding off it. What I really love about this bag is, first of all, it's this gorgeous, strong, vivid green color. It uh, it almost looks like a like a 60s race car color. I think it's super beautiful. And then it's color block, so on the sides it's black, and then it has this cream, or maybe it's probably more like the, the coach chalk color on here. And then of course the snakeskin details. And I really like snakeskin. I also think that if you have too much of it, it does become too much. But I think on this bag, it is perfect because it's just a few details to give it that little bit of extra luxury feel to it. Plus the color of it is so beautiful. It is really, really gorgeous. So there you can see it up close a little bit. So that is the last of my Rogue 31s. So that leads me on to the Rogue 25s. And I actually have one that matches this one pretty well, so I'll do that one first. This back here, definitely running out of space. So here we've got the first Rogue 25. And as you can see, this is again the uh, snakeskin detail one. So it's again, it's color block, although this one has same pink color here on the side, but then black here by the zipper. And then the handles and the hang tag on the back here and this thing all have snakeskin on them. And again, it's genuine snakeskin. It is dyed uh, super beautifully to match the bag. Um, I'm not that crazy about pink, but if I were, this would definitely be the bag I would choose. So here it is the 25 and like I've said in a lot of my other videos I really like the 25 in size it's a really great size bag even though it's one of the smaller rogues it's still a big bag in my opinion you can fit so much stuff in here especially because of the large center compartment and uh, it's just very useful and again it has all the the straps that you can convert the way you want it to so you can do the crossbody thing the rogue 25 I think is uh, especially good with the crossbody straps because it's not too heavy because the Rogue is a heavy bag but the 25 is not that heavy um, so yeah that's it so let's get on to the next one so here is another pink one and this is also a limited edition bag and this one I also have two of <laughs> so here they are these are like pretty much a proper Barbie pink I think they're really cute with the white flowers this is the pattern called floral bow because it's flowers with little bows on them and the flowers or the bows have a little bit of glitter in them just a tiny tiny amount very subtle and I think that's quite nice and so they're all pink have the the white uh, flowers and then the lining is again this burgundy or eggplant maybe I'm not quite sure I say burgundy suede which looks quite nice so two of those Then we have this one, which is again the Rogue 25, and this one is the beautiful purple color called Primrose. And I guess maybe some people would call it pink, but I'd say it's purple. But it's this super pretty, dusty but deep color. I really like it actually. I'm not really one to carry purple or pink bags, but this one I think is quite nice. It's pretty, it's quite lovely, um, very pretty colors. And this has the same kind of burgundy suede in the inner pockets. Other than that, it is completely uh, the same color all the way around. It's a standard Rogue 25, just in a special color. And that's that. All right, and the next one is a very special one as well. And again, this one is brand new, still has all the packaging on it, so I haven't unwrapped it. Um, hang on, my little puck is messing with my bubble wrap right now. <laughs> All right, and we're back. So I'm not gonna take the packaging off this because I just wanna sell it the way it is. So this is a great chance to get a totally brand new in the in the wrapping with the tag still on it, um, Coach Rogue 25 from the Disney Dark Fairy Tale collection. Now, 
people tend to go crazy over all the Coach Disney stuff. I can see why, Penny. I can see why, because it's super cute, most of it. It's got the Snow White patch on it, some flowers. It has that uh, poison apple skull thing and a little chipmunk. I'm not quite sure if all of this is supposed to be Snow White or not, but um, it's quite cute. The back is just plain and it has this beautiful olive green color, I guess I would call it. The sides here with the zipper are black and I think it goes quite well with the theme of like the dark fairy, t fairy tale. And then one detail I really like about this, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, the lining is suede and it's this kind of, it's like a nude color, but then it has these adorable little blue flowers, which I think is super cute. Of course it has this, this little thing and then it has the hang tag here, which says Disney X Coach on it. All right, only a few more 25s to go. These last two 25s are quite special as well. This one, I've already done a video specifically just for this bag, but here it is again. So this is the Rogue 25 with the classic Coach T Rose pattern. This is in the almost all black version. I see you can get some where you've got more of like a, it's black, but it has more pink flowers in it or more, I think blue flowers in it or something. And this is very much all black, but just with a little bit of color here and there, a bit of orange, which I think is quite nice. So this one is super cute. The T Rose applique is always really pretty, I think. And it's all black. And then on the back, it also has flowers. If you want to see this one up close, I already did a video of this one, so you can find that on my channel. And uh, the lining is purple suede. <laughs> Excuse my plastic uh, <laughs> stuffing. Just trying to make sure it keeps its shape very nicely. This one is actually one of my favorites. And here it is. So this is the teal or no, actually it's not teal. The dark turquoise with the prairie rivets. And um, I think this one is beautiful. I think my favorite thing about this is the rivets are so pretty the way they have, some of them are little flowers and some are these little uh, glass beads almost. And then you've got the little metal ones in different colors and it just looks gorgeous. And this is another uh, case of a bag where it's not quilted leather, but because of all the studs here, it does keep its shape very nicely. I mean, in general with the 25, it's not a problem with the slouchiness, but uh, they can still get a little bit slouchy. And this one doesn't really because of this strengthening up the sides or the front and the back. And of course it has these as well. And these match in the color. The back of this is the same color as the lining, which is a lovely warm tan suede. And that is the last of the Rogue 25s. Got the rivets in the back as well. So let me get on to uh, the little smaller ones. Or actually, before I do that, I have two other bags, two rogues that are the rogue shoulder bags, which are a little bit special. So that's the Prairie Rivets Dark Turquoise. It's really, really pretty. Next one we've got is this one. So this is the rogue shoulder bag. So these are not quite the same. They're pretty much, they're almost the same size as the Rogue 25s, maybe a tiny bit wider. But instead of having the grab handles, it only has these long shoulder straps. And you can't detach them, you can't uh, adjust them, but they have the perfect length for a shoulder bag. And I would say it's like a Rogue, but just in a bit more simple and sleek design. And I think they came in two different types of leather, either the caviar leather, or, um, actually now I can't remember what the other type, maybe they made them in the, in the uh, pepple leather as well. But um, they feel, these feel really nice. I like this gray color. It has beautiful ox blood um, lining and this is leather as well rather than suede. And then on the handles it has the, the C's here, which I think is quite nice. And so other than that, it looks very much like a classic Rogue. It's just a bit more simple and also more lightweight. So again, if you think the Rogue is lovely but too heavy, this is a really good option. Unless you really, really want to have the grab handles or the crossbody uh, strap. Because uh, this really only gives you one option and that is the shoulder bag. But it is a super lovely bag. And like I said, it's a lot lighter and I think it looks so classy. Like This is definitely one of my favorites. And then this one is quite special because this is also a rogue shoulder bag, but it's different. This is a sample bag, so this is kind of a special edition that I don't think they actually made this for the stores. 
um, it's quite, it's a little bit different. So it has the same size as the other shoulder bags and again, it's lighter than the, um, that the other rogues. And um, this one is a lovely chalk with the nude color here and the nude handles. But so the straps are kind of like the normal rogue straps and you can detach them. Uh, and you can also make this into a crossbody strap. So instead of having just the, um, the straps like this one does, you have the same opportunity or the same possibilities as with the normal Rogue, except it doesn't have the grab handles, but it gives you a few more options. And then this one has attached here at the front, the little hang tag and the clutch at thing. The gray one was supposed to have a hang tag as well, just attached to the strap as usual, but I went missing, unfortunately. And this one, so just plain on the back. And then the really cute thing about this one, I think, is that it has the floral bow pattern on the suede in the inner pockets. And so again, this one, even though it's a shoulder bag, it is a bit more like the classic Rogues because it has the suede lining on the inner pockets. Uh, I think I'll do a video of just these two together so you can see all the details, see how they're different from the other Rogues in case you'd like to see that. And uh, then at this point, I really only have one more Rogue to add to the collection. This is the very last one. And if you've watched my videos before, you might've already seen this one. This is the Rogue 17, of course, which is the smallest one. And it is so cute. <laughs> uh, man, I'm running out of breath from talking about all these bags. So that is number 22. That's the smallest one I have, probably the cutest one. It is just plain black with the contrast stitching. It's super elegant, super cute. And even though it's tiny compared to the other ones, it's actually not that small of a bag. Like you can easily fit your phone, your keys, your makeup few extra things in here and it'll be perfect for the night out or even the day out if you're like me, you don't want to carry too much stuff. Um, and it has the same things like the mini version of this and the mini uh, coach hang tag. It's just super, super cute. And that is the final Rogue in my collection. So let me move the camera and see if I can show you all of them at once. Here they are. Gonna probably line them up a bit better. That's what 22 rogues look like when they're all squished together on a teeny tiny table so that you can get them all in the shot at the same time. All right, that's it guys. I hope you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, like I said before, if you wanna see any of these bags up close and it's the video that I haven't already done before, uh, please do let me know. I will leave the links for all the videos I have done in the description below. And also I am selling every single one of these. All of them are for sale, so if you want one of them to be yours, please do let me know. You can send me a message on Instagram or the Facebook page. Also, go give that a like and a follow if you want. Or you can send me an email, or you can find them on my eBay. They're all listed for sale. So I will also put all the links for my sale ads on eBay in the description of this video. Um, but of course, feel free to just contact me directly if you're interested in one of these bags. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll see you soon. Bye.